Good morning vlog. Okay, so today's Tuesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday, and I leave for New York tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Jesse is um, coming from Wisconsin to give me a send-off or whatever. Taylor is also coming to hang out. It is Taylor's last day in Minnesota before she moves back to Texas. I am also with Maggie. I don't have anyone else to do my fucking hair, so I'm gonna have to do it myself. Jesse! <laughs> Jesse is here. Oh my god. I haven't seen Jesse in months. I'm literally screaming. I am so currently doing my hair right now, but literally two more of the soulmates of my life just arrived. Do you want to come to the door? Yeah, There's more soulmates here. Oh. Hey guys. Fia, uh, you look like a snack bitch. You already know you look so good. I finally finished my hair, got my outfit on for the day. Jesse wants to do some shopping. Alex and Taylor are still here. Everyone else, like, left. So guys, we're here at the mall, and we've all decided that we're gonna walk around the mall and pretend like we're British, and that we have British accents. So we're all going, going to walk around the mall and pretend like we're Nanny McPhee, and our American fan from Wisconsin, his name is Jesse, and he's from Wisconsin, and he brought us up from um, Wisconsin to visit here, Mall of America, here in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and it's, uh, it's really great, it's really great. So we're, we've already been to two stores, I'm looking for just two looks, two simple looks, cute looks to take or to put on me for Pride weekend and we found nothing so far. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna try and pull something together here. So we're at Forever 21 or whatever. We actually found like a shit ton of stuff like Jesse's being a queen and letting me decide like one of his one or two of his um Pride looks. So we just found like a bunch of shit. This shirt is literally so cute and then like with these dicky overalls and then like maybe some shorts or something. Literally Forever 21 is the plug. Like compared to like all these other fucking stores that we've been to, Forever 21 is the only one that has had like okay shit that you would even want to try on. First look that we've come up with. Look number one. I definitely have not been updating every look, but like this is another one that we came up with. I think she's like really cute or whatever. Like she's so cute. Like Oh my god. We ended up getting a lot of good stuff. I got these like little chains or whatever. They're like kind of cute. Jesse got like a I whole got outfit. Whole two outfits. And then we found this fucking like cute ass checkered belt like right at the yeah, end of here. our purchase. Yeah, cute ass this. fucking chain. These chains. It's like. Honestly, those are so cute. We yeah, also got them. harassed in the mall. Oh my god, yes. I can't believe I didn't even say this. I, okay, so we were coming up the escalator and we were walking like to Claire's and we walked past this group of like guys. And then they look at us and they're like, faggot. And I literally was so mad. Like I was on the phone and I was calling my friend to like see where she was. And I was like already like really irritated. So then they're like, faggot. And I literally turn around and I look at them like, faggot. <laughs> like bitch, like who the fuck are you talking to? Like literally look at you. Look at what you're wearing. Look at the place you're standing in. Like bitch, you don't even have like a place to even be saying anything out of your fucking like mouth towards me, bitch. Good morning vlog. Um, I am in the car with Alex and Taylor is back there looking. I'm like a snack. <laughs> I still haven't gotten packed yet. I'm leaving tonight for New York or whatever. Um, my flight leaves at eight, so I'm gonna try my best to be at the airport by at least six o'clock. But I'm going home now. We had a little sleepover, had a little party, had a little goodbye sesh for me and Taylor Manali. Even though I'm gonna be back and this bitch is gonna be gone forever. It's actually so true. Like drama shit like online used to like be so acceptable and like now it's like not acceptable at all. So like, I have something on Target. Oh my god, this is so funny. What is it? It's like, you know when you go in the kids section and it's like, I'm at Target and Kale decided to stop by and say, hey, what'd you get? What'd you get? Headlamp. Headlamp. See carrots like Bugs Bunny, I'm dead man, rob it for the money, strip a bare feet like the Flintstones, make a Tom and Jerry away home. We are here at the airport. Taylor is dropping me off, and this is the last time that I'm gonna see her for a while. So I just got through security or whatever. I am going to my gate now. My gate is E9. I've literally never even been to this side of this like airport before. Like I've been to this airport so many times, but I didn't even know that like this side even existed. I just 
got into my lift uber thing automatically mucky and like gross and like the feeling of it's about to rain and then literally as i step into my fucking like uber it starts raining good morning vlog i'm at the airbnb right now i currently just woke up maybe like less than five minutes ago I this is the like airbnb um apartment thing or whatever and then you go through this door right here hi uh, then it's like a whole little apartment type of deal type of thing so once you come in there's this whole like living room section type thing um, this is where me and Maggie are sleeping. It's like this futon that's just like a regular fucking futon. Uncomfortable as hell and hot as fucking dick. And over here we have this little kitchen area. She's very cute. You can tell she was redone by some Ikea shit or whatever. She's, you know, she's cute. She's doing her thing. And over here we have the master bedroom. This is where Maggie's mom is staying. And this is where I will be putting up my clothes and stuff very like big like this is a big space compared to like the house in general and, like it's a big space and, like another thing about this place is that like they only have windows in the two bedrooms because there's only two bedrooms in here down this hall we have like fridge right here with this bathroom but this is the like bathroom or whatever she's very cute she's you know tucked away doing her thing um the shower <laughs> Back here, there's like a little patio type of deal. It's very cute. Oh, Maggie, dang. you do know you burnt this toast. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Betty Crocker has nothing on you, no, babe. No, she doesn't, but this pan is too hot. Come on, Aunt Jamamba. Oh, <laughs> Breakfast. Not my house, not zipping my bags, not checking my bags, not flying my notes. Well, here's my outfit for today. I am wearing this extra shirt that I got from... Forever 21, it really reminds me of like all those cute ass guest shirts, you know, that you like see on Instagram. So I'm like, I'm totally like an Instagram model, like totally like anyways. So I'm wearing my um extra shirt because it's super cute, and then I have on my like just normal chain. I have on my earring, of course. Um, I have on my gorgeous belt that you've seen plenty of times, my chain, and then I have on my guest shorts that I got from Rewind, this thrift store in Minnesota before I left. Have on my docks. Oh my god, like I feel like such a tourist, like Maggie's been here before, so like I feel like more like a tourist. We're like walking to our bus now, of course. I'm feeling myself, feeling cuter, what all, Bob? Oh, I love the glasses, they're so good. <laughs> How did you feel about your shit? Um, I felt pretty good, it was a successful one. We're going to Times Square, because we were gonna go to the Garment District, but there's just no time for that, so we're gonna go tomorrow probably, or later today. I did an extensive research on most Instagrammable food places and photo ops for him because I roll like that. Hey, honestly, I need to take pictures over here. Look at how cute these three garage doors are that say no parking. Where? Because, but you can't park there, right there. Oh, that is cute. <laughs> <laughs> they put it there so that like- People don't park there. Right. But. You should honestly just tell her that we've been waiting for our bus and that the bus never came. We were going to go to like Times Square and like, you know, take some pictures, do some shit. And then we were going to go and meet her mom at this restaurant and like, have a cute little brunch or whatever, but like now that the bus is being on fucking dirt, that is so cute. Look at that. Oh. Now the bus is being on dirt, so we're just like kind of walking around, exploring, adventuring. That like, okay, if you can see that, that's like a little plastic fucking like balcony. Is so fucking cute. So me and Maggie just arrived to the train station or whatever, and they're gonna have a caribou and Einstein's like here in New York. Like, where do they do the salad? Like. This is my whole last job, like Caribou and Einstein's. Like I work here in Minnesota, so like, how are they gonna have it in New York? Like I'm shook, like. This is my very first time here, and I just wanted to get my reaction of this whole experience. Look at Maggie, she's all the way over there. But I wanted to get a whole reaction of this experience because this is my first time after stepping out of the subway station, seeing the entire city, uh, my home. This is where I'm going to be. This is where I'm going to live, bitch. I, I didn't even think about it. I was gonna walk like across the street, but I was like, maybe I should like vlog my um, reaction to like the city for the first time. You know what I mean? So Maggie and I just got the cutest pair of sunglasses. These are the pair that I just got, and Maggie just got hers. <laughs> I feel good. Her I mean, me, like, we're almost there, um, and I'm just ready to get there. Okay. Because people are fucking irritated. You're just fucking beautiful, aren't you? Oh, 
Hi, Mickey. This is honestly the cutest Asian I've ever been to. Let me be cute for a minute. Damn, I look dark. Hey, do you actually plan on buying anything today? Oh! Get him, get him. No. Why did you film him? I didn't want to film him. Let me see. Oh my god, look at us. We that, that, look so cute. That could be us, like but me. you playing. <laughs> Just about went to that lady. I know you did. About? Right there, right there. Do you Where? remember Hanson? Right there. Well, you can't see it because of the fucking Marriott. Huh? Yeah. Like totally. Like just not. Ooh, I kinda wanna do the tiramisu or the coffee. It's so cute over here. So there's an right here. Are you happy that we finally found it? Since you're yeah, fucking I, I, I was trying to really, kill me? I was getting really bitchy. Ugh. But we are where are we right now? We're in the we're, flat we're, iron we're, district. We're, yeah, we're at the flat iron building, it's right up here. Yeah, I guess it's because it looks like a flat iron. So we're gonna be doing some like shopping or whatever. I just got some cute little pictures or whatever. Like I'm totally like an Instagram model, like look at my glasses, like know how I'm feeling right now I'm a lot happier that it's not as hot as it was earlier because literally it was like so fucking hot and like I had this weird skin condition where like if I get too hot my skin breaks out in these like bubbles and it feels like it's just like soaring heat on my skin so like I was really irritated for like half of the fucking day so like after the last clip I literally didn't film anything but Maggie ended up going to the Empire State Building and I got some coffee and walked around I can't. I look so white and disgusting, but it's fine. Good morning, skinnies. However, I am currently at making breakfast. It's butter my croissant. Get it, what are you doing? <laughs> look at that breakfast. That is a nice breakfast. You gotta take my joke like that. I don't like that. After last night when I said goodnight with Maggie or whatever, I decided to hit up my friend Chris that I know that lives in New York City. I met him last summer at Pride in Minnesota in Minneapolis when he lived there and then he moved here and I completely forgot that he even lived here until like late last night. So I hit him up and I was like, well, you want to hang out? And he was like, yeah. So then he was like, well, you should just meet me at Madison Square Gardens and then I went to go meet him. And then we went to like this improv show. It was really nice. It was really funny. And then we went to like a bar, got some drinks, had a good time or whatever. Outfit for today, I am wearing my sweatshirt that I was wearing on the airplane, and then my tank tops, of course. How about my little necklaces, my little chain necklaces, like I got some new ones from like the store the other day, so they're cute or whatever. I'm wearing my Forever 21 belt with my um, safety pins because they like started fucking up, and then I just have on these black short, like shorts or whatever, they're like really stretchy, so I'm gonna feel like comfy today or whatever. And then my docks, of course, because like I don't have any other black shoes that like would look cute with literally anything that I wear. And then I'm wearing my glasses that I got while I was walking on the street yesterday. They're really cute. I matched my like backpack or whatever. <laughs> this is a romper from Old Navy. Uh, got her for hella cheap. I got my backpack from Forever 21, which I designed with all my Disney pins because I'm that bitch. And then I got these glasses from Off the Street because me and Jamari got them together to over 15. Mm -hmm. And then this bun that's so ratchet. After I was done hanging out with Chris, he brought me back to downtown to like get on the bus to go to like back to the Airbnb and I end up missing the bus so I'm like whatever I can just take an Uber even though it's gonna like cost a shit ton of money so I start like waiting for my Uber and he's standing there with me like waiting for the Uber with me and there's this guy that's walking past us and he's like continuously like walking past and like staring at me and I'm just automatically feeling like some type of way I'm like feeling kind of uncomfortable but I'm like well Chris is right here so he's obviously not gonna do anything so he continues to like walk past us and I'm just like noticing like he did it at least like maybe two or three times but like he was really slick about it because we were like waiting for a little bit. Ten minutes pass and we're still like waiting for the Uber and then the Uber comes, what we think is the Uber comes up and Chris is like, okay, well there's your Uber, like go get into your Uber. So then I open the door and I get into the Uber and he walks across the street and goes into the subway and like leaves. So then I end up getting into the wrong Uber and the Uber's like, I tell the Uber like, hi, like tomorrow and he's like, no, that's not like, this is the wrong one. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I get out. I'm expecting Chris to still be like across the street, but like he had already like been gone. So 
so I go stand back to where me and him were standing originally and the guy comes again like the guy that was like walking past and staring at me and he's like oh like if you miss like your uber like if you got into the wrong one like you can I I'll give you a ride like I'm an uber driver I'm like like the fuck like one like you're walking around like being all stalkers being all weird and then you think I'm going to get into a car with you for you to take me home no So honestly, I've never been to a place where I just walk around and just realize that everybody is literally on the same exact like physical and mental fashion level as me. Like, oh, I'm trying to find a coffee shop. Do you think they have Starbucks over here? I'm looking right now. Oh, I got a brain freeze. Please edit this part out, cause ooh. so like he, it was like up to like only here in coffee, like in coffee, and then was like, should I just put ice in? And I'm like, uh, no, you need to like add more crap. So we added more milk and then add some ice. So I made sure it was right. The thing was, she told me that she told him to put more almond milk in here, but my drink is supposed to have soy milk. Okay, wait, no, he had, he was saying almond milk, and I said, yeah, more milk. More milk. Yeah! We're gonna get hit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You start across the street. I knew we weren't supposed to cross yet. <laughs> Gosh dang it. The plan is to go to as many stores in under an hour should as I, possible. I should go into one of these salons and like ask them to wash my hair so that my hair can look good so I don't have this stupid bun happening. They're gonna be like, we can fix your bun for you. We'll just throw a few curls in there. You'll be like, oh my god, yeah, totally. I'll be like, yeah, totally. Okay, so I'm in this cool ass art store and it's literally like one of the coolest stores that I've seen so far. So cute. Uh. Really, truly. Literally me as a store fashion. Oh my god. That literally looks exactly like the one that I had. So this guy just walked up to us and was like, hey ladies, do you know where the A train is? Literally, that's probably like the fifth time that I've been like called a lady or a girl or a woman since I fucking like stepped off the plane two days ago. I challenged myself to get a row of pictures for every like day that I'm here. So I'm trying to pop out with looks for like every single day. Maggie has been learning some good tips on how to get my good angles and doing her thing or whatever. She's like, yeah. Call me Brie. Be... <laughs> hey dinner. And this menu was really good. That's right, you better go. You better get it, Cloak and Dagger. Who even are those actors? Like Honestly, I don't know. They should be me. Wait, I didn't even say it. Good morning, skinnies! Ah! <laughs> This little town that I've been staying in is the cutest thing in the world and I'm so sad like I can't explain to you how much I fucking love it here. Skinnies, I just got done getting ready. Here's my outfit for today. So I'm wearing my mesh long sleeve that you probably seen already. I just got her in the mail um, from Amazon. I have on my chains today. I'm wearing my checker belt with these shorts. Like you've seen this before. Like these shorts are always making an appearance on me. Like if you see me on um, like if you see me on Instagram or on Snapchat, like you've seen these shorts. And you've also seen this belt. I'm also sporting my um, tuck creepers today. They are really cute. Uh, hey, hey, hey. And then of course I have my Marlboro backpack. I don't even know if you can like see her, but like. She's doing her thing. I'm getting these. I'm so excited. We're back here in Forever 21. <laughs> we finally just stole these. Hi. Did you just hear the did you just hear the shade that I just threw? Maggie, did you hear the shade that I just threw? I said we finally ditched the oldies. So we're gonna try to find her something cute, but like, I'm really feeling my fit today. Like, I keep wearing these shorts, but these shorts just make me look so skinny. You know, they make the movie pop. Well, what I'll fun. Maggie just got her fits for the day. I picked out one of them. It's really cute. She's gonna end up changing into it later, yeah? Yep. So she got this yellow romper and, um, not a yellow romper, like this yellow bodysuit thing, and then like these black and white shorts are like super cute. And then she also got this romper, look at her. <laughs> We're gonna go to Soho and like look around, do a little bit more shopping. I'm gonna be doing some window shopping because that bitch is fucking broke. The bitch is really broke. Look at her. You better go, bitch. Hello. Do it, bitch. Hi. Oh my god. There's like a pigeon like right here. Hey, pigeon. Hey, pigeon. 
Hey, Vintage Red Sock. Oh my god, look at the place though. We are walking around Soho right now. I'd say that this is kind of like an equivalent to like a um, like a really, really bougie like uptown Minneapolis or whatever. I got the cutest like shirt the other day and um, it really just like has been making me feel so new and fresh and empowered. When I tell you like I'm screaming, I'm literally screaming like I'm having the time of my life, especially with this outfit. Like I look so cute and I'm feeling myself like so hard right now. It is my last day here in NYC. Maggie and I are at the pier right now. What is the name of this pier? Do you even know? Uh, I think it's 86. For today's outfit, I'm wearing my barcode shirt that I got from, um, I think I got this from Forever 21. And then I am wearing my belt, of course, with my chain. And then I'm wearing my Tommy Hilfiger jeans. And then my dogs. And then I have on my Marlboro backpack. I don't know if you can see her, but you've seen her in a clip before. So, like, totally. Like, you know what she looks like. Let me take pictures of you guys. Or is this all selfie? <laughs> <laughs> so, vlog, this is Maggie's seat. mom. Maggie's Shelly Page. Look alike. AKA Shell. Twenty. This looks exactly like something Blair wore on Gossip Girl. I'm screaming. I'm about to be the coolest person on campus. Why? Nobody knows what hit them. Because of my new backpack. Look at it. Because of my new backpack. Look at it. That's so cute. This guy was like standing there checking out and the lady was like, okay, so your total is going to be $1,569.17. I bought it at C21. <laughs> <laughs> we went there. We went there. So I'm at the movie theater right now, just saw The Incredibles 2. It literally was the best movie in the fucking world. Like, I was so shook. Like, I haven't seen the first one since I was like four years old when it came out. And I remember like vividly remembering it being like one of my favorite movies like in the world and like had all the action figures. I literally just stepped off the plate. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. It is this weekend and I will be vlogging the whole experience. So you will be seeing all of that. If you just want to talk, just, you know, say something in the comment section down below. I will have my social media linked in the description box. I love you so much. Bye skinnies. <laughs>